Yo, what is up, YouTube? It is your boy G Art, and I'm back with another video. Hey, man, this is probably gonna be so different for y'all. I never did a video like this. Why well, I have done videos like this where I insert clips and just, you know what I'm saying, give y'all some a little spice to it. This, it's not my first time. I did it on my old channel when I was younger, but this is the first time on the GR channel that y'all gonna be getting official sports content, not just still the videos, NFL content, NBA content, all that good stuff. Hey, you might catch me doing something. I wanna say NCAA basketball content. I do be tuned into those shitty ass college basketball players, but I do know a couple that's hard, that's tough. But hey, we're not gonna hold y'all too long with that. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment down below what type of videos y'all wanna see. And as y'all can see from the title, man, we are talking about Justin Fields to my Steelers. Hey, next I'm video I'm definitely have on a Steelers jersey. Hey, just, just stay tuned, man. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And today we're going to talk about Justin Fields. So let's get straight into it. Let's so go. Today we're going to be talking about the positives of why I think Justin Fields should have a chance at being a Steelers quarterback. But one, it don't hurt to try. It don't hurt to switch it up. I have seen my Steelers do the same stuff for years and years and years and years on. And I just don't like it. I don't like where we're going as an organization, how we keep repeating the same bull crap. I'm just not with it. I'm not with it. And I think bringing in Justin Fields would be a great experiment. Hey, if you win, you win. If you lose, you lose. Get him for a second round pick. Get him for a third round pick. I mean, would you rather take a chance on a dude that's already proven that he can be something spectacular? I mean, we're not asking him to be Mahomes. He's not Mahomes because, yeah, we're going to get into that in the negatives. Y'all got to stay tuned to the whole video. You know what I'm saying? It don't hurt to bring in a young commodity. He's better than some of these these quarterbacks that's in this draft already, and that's just my opinion. But, hey, that's for the, you know what I'm saying, people to decide on. But just in my opinion, for what I've seen, I have grown to like Justin Fields a little bit more than what people try to make him seem on the media. Um, if you watch the highlights, you can clearly see that he has big flashes. Uh, like I said, that don't take away from the negatives, but we're not going to get into that. But like I said, the positives, he got good positives. He got good arm strength. He got good arm accuracy on the deep ball. Medium passes could be a little more accurate, but when you're asking him to, to throw that ball down 50 yards, 60 yards, it's, it's dropping on a dime. It's dropping on a dime. Hey, you know we got Big George. You know we got Calvin Austin. So, hey, stretch out the field. Get a defense on the game plan against. Don't just, you know what I'm saying? Because last year the defense only anticipated one deep ball for the Steelers all game. We can't have that. We got to have them thinking we're going to do it every two, three, four. You know what I'm saying? Possessions. I'm just saying. Got to have it. Deep ball stretching out the field is literally what sets a quarterback apart from a lot of quarterbacks. Remember, I told you that. I'm not lying. It's more than just deep balls to be a good quarterback, but that's one of the ways to separate yourself. He got great speed. When you look at a Lamar Jackson, you look at a agile, don't touch me type of, he's going to, you know what I'm saying? He's not the type of dude. Though. Cam Newton was the type of running to you. Lamar's the type of run away. He like a combination of both. It looked like a combination of both. He looked smooth with the ball. He looked very, 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 very experienced with the ball. He not he doesn't have a fumble problem. I can't really see a problem with his leadership. I think people love him as a leader. I think he has good leader tangibilities, tangibles, tangibles, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I think he has very good leader tangibles. It's, it's more to, to figure out when we get him in the building, when we start seeing him in the, you know what I'm saying? We'll find out who he is training camp. We'll find out if the guys want him to be the quarterback at training camp. That's all the good stuff. You know what I'm saying? That we can figure out and, you know, we get straight into it. We'll know what we got. If we get him in the regular, I mean, the offseason, we'll know what we have as our QB1 by, I want to say, August. I don't think you'll wait till, the, till September to figure out who your QB1 is because let's just be honest. I think Justin Fields is three times better than Kenny Pickett. All right, now I feel like Kenny Pickett. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Nice deep ball. Shows very good flashes. Show that he can do a lot. Show that he can put up good numbers. You know, we could just try to mold him into a dude that could be a winning quarterback. Hey, I think it might tease the guy. So, hey, that's all I got for the positives. Let's get into the negatives. Hey, man, I don't like to bring down the negatives, but, hey, sometimes I do because I got to just keep it 100. It's, it's always two sides to a story. So, for one, ever since I've seen that clip of Justin Fields missing someone wide open, I'm talking about wide open, like, I could have made that pass. A middle schooler could have made that pass. Dude, <laughs> He is shot. That speaks a lot. I'm not going not gonna to hold that against him because that was a long time ago. But that just shows a lot. Like, he tried to take off and got sacked. You can't make plays like that at the NFL level. You can't be the reason that 
you're getting sacked. As a quarterback, that's that's bad. Like as as a quarterback, that's a bad that's a bad thing. You can't be the reason why you get sacked. You have to do everything outside, you know what I'm saying, of your old lineman, you know what I'm saying, to be sacked. That's just that's just simple knowledge. That's simple knowledge. Um, accuracy is eh, it's, it's not the best. It's, it's not great at all. Accuracy is mid to above, uh, average at, at best. It's, it's average, but you can work with it. You can work with it. You can get him a, a quarterback's coach. You can get him a play caller that makes him not have to put balls in the smallest of paws. Yeah, you know I'm saying paw, paw, paw. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you can get him a quarterback. Coach, you can get him a coordinator, a game planner, an offensive overseer. You can get anybody to help him with that. If he just can't do it with a different coaching staff, with a professional. Now, don't get it wrong. I think the Steelers have something to do. I think their coaching staff is solid. I think they have straight coaches. I think they have solid coaches. I don't think we have the best coaches. But I think we have better coaches than Chicago ever have and ever will have. Which is my opinion. Now, as far as ownership... Yeah, we're we're the ownership is trash. The ownership is trash. Like it's the same culture. But as far as coaches, we do have some solid coaches that know how to develop players and how to make people better. And like I said, I like how Arthur Smith came in here. I love the Arthur Smith pickup, run the ball. Justin Fields is a running quarterback. Can you turn him into a scrambler quarterback? Probably not, because he's a run first quarterback. Let's just keep it a hundred. Let's just keep it a buck. His best skill set is to run the ball. So you don't want to take away from that. You want to build on that. You don't want to change up his whole offensive plan just because you know he can throw the ball deep, just because you know he can make some good passes. Now, don't get it wrong. I have seen Justin Fields make some good passes. I didn't see Justin Fields have some games where he done put up 250, 260, 270 passing yard games. Hey, I even see him play – Um. What was that? I think I forgot who it was in the college. The college. Um, it was a college championship game for the their side of it. When they before they went against Alabama, I forgot who it was. No, Clemson. Yeah, Clemson. Who tore them up, lit it up. I'm talking about lighting it up. It showed you that he can make the nice passes when you need it. He don't have to be a runner every play. And like I said, with coaching, you can try to get the best out of his passing as you can with Arthur Smith. I love how Arthur Smith runs his game. He likes to run play action off the run. Hey, the run is going to be successful in Pittsburgh. We're going to have a top ten. If I had to guess, we'll have a top. We'll have a top. We'll have a top five rushing offense. We'll, we'll definitely have a top five rushing offense next year. So with that being said, we'll definitely be able to run some play action for Justin Fields, and we'll definitely be able to show off some run plays. That's going to end up being some passing plays. Negatives, like I said, just a little inaccurate. Not not too accurate. But that can be worked on. That can be better. Not, he's not super accurate. He's just above average. Let's just give him above average. But that, that's a negative. You don't want just average. You want, you know what I'm saying? You don't want just above it. You want good. Yeah. Like I said, so all I can really think about the negatives. Um, really not a winning quarterback yet at this point of his career. But he can be, like I said, with the right culture, with the right staff. I know this is the last part of the video and stuff, but let's just talk about it. I don't care what nobody says. This is the rant part of my videos. <laughs> this is the rant part of my videos. I got it on my, my handy dandy book. Isn't it? Yeah, Kenny Pickett is not the guy. Kenny Pickett is, he's he's not it. Like, I just don't see a future where Kenny Pickett is our quarterback. I don't see it. I, I gave up all hope on Kenny Pickett when I seen Mason Rudolph do the same, use the same offense, the same play caller as Kenny Pickett. And he just showed that he's just not an NFL quarterback, not an NFL starter quarterback. Now, don't get it wrong. I have seen Kenny Pickett make some good passes. I haven't seen Kenny Pickett make some good game-winning drives. But that's irrelevant, bro. That's irrelevant when you put your whole body of work against that one moment. Pickett is just not really that good. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm just gonna give it a hundred. I ain't one of them still a fans. So out the big deep news and uh, Arthur Mokes. Yeah, they're very optimistic. I'm really, I'm not really optimistic. I really just go with what I see. I ain't gonna lie. We can't keep wasting years giving Kenny Pickett chances. Like, if this is his last year to prove that he's the quarterback, it better be the last year. If he don't show that he can be the quarterback for the Steelers, he gotta be. He can't be the starter. I just don't care. He could be the second and the third quarterback. I have no problem with him being the quarterback off the bench. I have no problem with him being quarterback third. I really don't care. As long as he's not starting, that's all I care about. 
I think Justin Fields is a better player than him at this moment. I think if you have to develop somebody, because I think Justin Fields still need developing. If you have to develop somebody, I'd rather it be Justin Fields. I'd rather us waste two years trying to develop Justin Fields. Granted, I know Justin Fields been in the league for three, two, three, four, five, like like three, four, three to five years. Let's give him three to five years. I think, yeah, yeah, it's definitely been a couple. It's been some time, yeah, but yeah. If you're going to spend some time developing a quarterback, taking your time with let it be Justin Fields. Justin Fields has a better arm. I can see about the same. Better legs. You could say Kenny's a more winning quarterback outside of Kenny being able to put together a winning drive. Yeah, and the only reason why they're winning drives is because he's not good enough to put us in positions to be up any point of the game except for the last drive. A lot of quarterbacks can go one drive and look good. It just so happened that it's the last drive of the game. You can take it as his luck. You can take it as... Him being a clutch quarterback, I don't think he's clutch at all. But yeah, you can you can take how you want it. So I just don't think Kenny Pickett's the guy. Not not good enough. Not not good enough for the NFL. He had one highlight, and that was his fake his fake uh, slide. It's, just, it's not good enough. Not good enough at all, man. I just I'm not really feeling Kenny Pickett no more, man. Every time I hear a report about Kenny Pickett, it indicates that he's going to be the starter, and I, it just makes me sad. It makes me angry. It makes me pissed. He's not a good quarterback. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. All right, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. It's your boy, G Art, man. I ain't got really too much to say about the situation. Uh, Yeah. Bring Justin Fields in. Give him a chance, man. Give up that second, third round pick. Do whatever you got to do, Pittsburgh. We got to change it around for the city, for the culture. We got to get ring number seven. I ain't trying to just walk around with six rings. I'm trying to get seven. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to at least make the second round of the playoffs, bro. I'm tired of going to the first round and getting beat. Now, like I said, you can take it how you want. Chicago fans probably feel that Justin Fields is not that good um, for people that watch him every game. And like I said, I haven't watched Justin Fields. I haven't watched Justin Fields every game, but I do be tuned into what he does every week off a of stat basis. Let's just say that and he's not bad. But like I said, let's just be honest. The Bears ain't really a good organization. Not known for having good coaches. Not known for being a good culture. Just not known for a lot of things. That's good. So yeah, hey. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Hey, we on the road to 3K. Hey, man, let's turn it up, man. This is going to be a sports and a vlog once a month type of channel. So if you're ready for the sports, NBA, NFL, uh, I'm going to be bringing my James Harden videos. I know I'm a big James Harden fan. Got a rep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Harden. Yeah, yeah. Stat, man. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, hit that like button, subscribe button, man. Tell me what type of videos you want to see. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button again. Hit it again. Do it again. Just double tap it again. Comment down below what type of videos you want to see. It's your boy G Art. And I'll go. Peace.